Good morning, my wild and beautiful friends. I'm so glad you're here. Today, I'm taking you on an adventure. <laughs> I am driving down to St. George right now. There's a family that is no longer able to take care of a baby sulcata tortoise, and I've been doing a ton of research for months and months, looking for rescues, looking for a way for me to adopt one of these little slash gigantic guys. And I think that I found the perfect match. So I'm headed down now, it's a five hour drive. So we're gonna do a little bit of, of a road trip and I can't wait to introduce you and I can't wait to show you what the setup looks like. We eventually, so sulcutas get quite large. So adopting a baby, seemed to be kind of perfect because it gives Steve and I some time to make the perfect enclosure for him or her. So eventually we will be outfitting our shed in the back with some solar panels and be making a Taj Mahal of tortoise houses <laughs> for this little guy. So come on along, let's, let's get a tortoise. So I was so excited, I didn't quite think this through. By the time I needed gas, I had driven through Salt Lake with all the vegan yummy spots. <laughs> so I'm trying to make myself a snack at a gas station. It worked out pretty well. They've got these pickled vegetables or just pickles that they have all the time, usually. And this avocado toast I discovered. Okay, we've got gas and a snack. Hey, that's good. Really overpriced, but really good. <laughs> Let's get back on the road. Guys, this place did not disappoint. It is a 100% plant-based restaurant in St. George. I had the most epic vegan breakfast sandwich. If you're in the area, I definitely recommend you give this place a shot. Also, it's warm enough to eat outside. That was worth the drive in itself, if you ask me. <laughs> so in addition to that epic breakfast sandwich, we did actually get what we came for. <laughs> Look at this little tortoise. Is it not the cutest thing you have seen in your entire life? I'm so in love. I have no idea how somebody could get rid of him. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. <laughs> Super active, still trying to think of names. Um, his name is Speedy now, but I would, I think I would like to rename him. So if you have any suggestions, please comment below like crazy. So we just got about five more hours. We made a little pit stop in Salt Lake for a little falafel sandwich. And then we will hopefully get to Logan soon and set him up like so. We've got our lights on. I've got a big bunch of romaine for him to eat. He had no trouble eating right away, which makes me super happy. So we ended up putting our little guy on my desk in the living room. We don't have a ton of space. So I found this really cute, like moon-shaped end table that worked perfectly to stack on top of my desk. I can put the 10 gallon tank there and still have room to work on my computer underneath. Everything plugs in and he's nice and snug in there. I do think I'm also going to try to convert a really large elevated planter into a space for him to roam and graze in the winter as well so he has a little bit more space i'm thinking of putting that in my pottery room let me know if you're interested in seeing how i do that don't mind my baby talk <laughs> but we did wait till the next day to introduce olive to see what she would think you see him very supervised of course it's a baby yeah yeah don't care okay you just want loves <laughs> yeah you just want loves cruising around <laughs> Thank you so much for coming along on this adventure with me, guys. So much fun to film. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know. And please, please, please comment below any name ideas if you got them. Mm -hmm. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy, and I can't wait to talk to you soon. Cheers.